Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video. And in this video, I want to show you guys that the horse glitch is still working and still alive and well. Now, this horse that I am currently riding, which is the Rose Gray Bay Arabian, I actually got from doing this specific glitch using the horse glitch. And I'm going to show you guys how to do it, and I've been kind of sitting here chilling because I have a person in front of me that we can go ahead and do this to we have a victim that we can actually go ahead and do this glitch with and i'm pretty excited to be doing this for you guys and you guys can see that it's pretty wet and soggy it was just downpouring like a mad person and i was ready to start recording and it literally just stopped right as i started recording which is absolutely beautiful and it has now turned out to be this wonderful day here in red dead redemption 2 so what we're gonna do because if you guys haven't seen my other videos uh, on this, I'm going to kind of explain it fully what we need to do. The first thing that you guys need to do is you guys can go anywhere on the map that you guys want to do this at. Now, there's no specific spot on the map that gives you better chances of getting a different kind of horse, a rare horse. You're going to get every horse type by doing this specific glitch. Actually, you know what? It's going to rain again. It's going to rain again. Our, our beautiful day has now come to an end. But anyway, we're gonna make that a little bit more bright because we're gonna see what other kind of horse we can get. Now, they're really, according to the game, we're gonna use quotation marks around that or fingers in the air saying, game is saying, why are you running away from me? I need to stay with you. That the game says that the Rose Gray Bay Arabian is worth the most. Now, you can definitely use the money glitch with this thing. I'm not going to show that in the specific video, but we can do that as well. And I have another video on how to do that if you guys want to know how to do that more. So anyway, what we need to do is find a person that is riding solo. And we do have our victim, and we've been we've been stalking him for quite a while. That's probably why he's deciding to run away from us because he knows that something is up. So what you guys need to do is grab your lasso. And what we're going to do is we're going to lasso him off the horse. We're going to shoot him in his legs and then we're going to run away. So when we shoot him, he's going to become a red, red blip on the map. And what's going to happen after that is we're going to run away from him and you need to run far enough away from him that the red blip is not showing on the map but it now it turns into a sliver and i'm going to show you exactly what i mean right now so let's go ahead and do this we're going to go ahead and lasso this guy off the horse and you want to make sure that you don't do this around anybody because otherwise it is not going to work real well and you're going to want to get far enough away from him because he's going to chase you sometimes like that so i shot him in the legs and what i'm going to do is i'm going to run past him and like give him the bird and run away so you can right see right now he's a red blip on the map but what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and see how it turned into a red sliver on the minimap. We're going to run back to him right now. And what that's going to do is he's going to get a new horse and he's going to come after us. Okay. I didn't even check out what type of horse it was. But oh god. But we're going to see what kind, of, what kind of horse he has now. Horse. We He has got a Tennessee Walker. So unfortunately we didn't really get anything from this specific horse. Or this time. But I want to show you guys what you could do to do this a little bit better. So I'm going to take out my binoculars real quick here. And we have another horse right in front of us. And he has a Kentucky Saddler. So what we're going to do now is we have our next victim. The game gave it to us at an absolutely perfect time. But we want something different than a Kentucky Saddler. We didn't even check it what the other one was when we did this. But we're going to pull him off the horse. And we're going to let go of him. But we're going to go a little bit enough away. Oh, hang on. We got a witness. Great. We're going to shoot him in the legs, and we're going to run away. We are going to run away from him. And he's still a red dot on the map. So what he's going to do is he's going to turn into the red sliver. And now we're going to be wanted by the law, of course. So we might have to deal with the law during this, but that's okay. Not a big deal. So we're going to slowly run back to him, and he should be getting onto another horse. And he is. We're going to go ahead and shoot him off. Oh, I missed. I shot his hat instead. And now we got a Missouri Fox Trotter. I think that's the first Missouri Fox Trotter that I've gotten. And it looks like an Amber Champagne. At least that's what it looks like anyway. I'm going to go ahead and... Yeah, it's, it's an Amber Champagne. So now if you want this horse, which I have my uh, Silver Dapple Pinto Missouri Fox Trotter. And I absolutely love him. He is an amazing horse. But see now, what he's going to do is he's going to run away from you guys. Okay, so what you need to do is make sure that you're catching up to him as best as possible. And doing this in an open area is by... Oh, God. 
the probably the jump on the horse. Mm, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at that. But I actually got pretty lucky that time. What you usually need to do is lasso the horse, and then you're gonna be able to uh, bring him to you, rope him close to you, and then you're gonna be able to calm him down, jump on him, and be able to bond with him. But that actually turned out to be pretty easy for us. And now what we can do is we can whistle to get our horse to follow us now. So now we have the Amber Champagne, which I actually do have in my stables anyway, because I do have the, the Amber Champagne and the, and the Silver Dapple Pinto horse, along with the Rose Gray Bay, and I believe the White Arabian as well. I think that's the other one. Or I might have the Gold Turkoman. I don't remember which one I have in the stables right now. But that's not the, the important thing is. The important thing is now the sun is shining again, and we can start this whole process over, and you guys can continuously get multiple horses until your stables are completely full you can have four horses and you can get whatever horse that you guys would like and our second go around we got a great horse now the one behind me i got in my last video so if you guys haven't seen that one you guys need to check it out and that one i actually show you guys how to sell it and that's what i was actually doing at the beginning of the video that's i was close to the horse fence and it so you can kind of use both methods to make a lot of money and get the horse that you're looking for and you can do it as early as chapter two now as soon as you guys get to valentine basically you guys can start this horse glitch and the money glitch the money glitch can't be started until chapter three and selling of the horse fence but you're going to be able to get all four of your stable slots filled with the horses that you want and rank them up as much as possible before the horse fence becomes available to you and then you're going to be able to make a ton of money really quickly now the one that's behind me the rose gray Ab arabian is going to sell for the most money, and I, if I remember right, you're going to be able to sell it for, is it 380 or is it $400 per time when you guys bond it to a level 4, or get it to the level 4 bonding. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do this to another horse or another area. I'm going to jump off the Amber Champagne. You guys can clearly see that I have the Amber Champagne horse right here, but I can't, I can't take off of its saddle. But I can, I can search its saddlebags if I'd like. So that I can do that. I just don't want to get kicked by this darn horse. We got a Miracle Tonic from it. So you can definitely do that. It's like if you don't really want to do anything else, you can definitely search its saddlebags as well. But I'm going to leave this horse here because I'm going to ride my Rose Gray Bay Arabian. Because it's a little bit better according to the game. And ooh, we, we, we're wanted in this area. That is fantastic. I love being wanted in this, in this area. Bounty Hunters are so much fun to mess with. So anyway, what we're going to be looking for is another random solo guy or gal riding around the countryside, hopefully waiting for us to just pick off their horse. So we're getting a little close to Emerald Ranch, and I really don't want to do this near Emerald Ranch because there's a lot of witnesses that can easily happen. Now, if you guys can do this in more of a secluded area, then I definitely recommend that. Um, but we're not going to be able to do it. I guess I haven't tried it with this. I should try it with, let's do it right now. I haven't tried it, this method with the, um, the carts or the wagons or whatever you want to say. So let's go ahead and pull them off and we're going to make him run away. Okay. We're going to go ahead and let him get off the horse. And there is a guy right there coming. So I'm going to go like this and shoot him in the legs or I'm going to kill him. I guess there's always that option. Dang it, my gun's too powerful. Which one was that? I thought I was using the Schofield, or did I use the Volcanic? Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter. Theory, not tested. So let's go ahead and move on to our next victim. That probably has two people. No, it doesn't. Uh, that is too close to everything. We're going to leave that alone. I Like I said, I really haven't had a chance to test the wagon uh, of getting a horse off of the wagon. I was hoping that was going to work. But apparently we just decided to shoot the guy in the leg a little too hard and we, uh, we killed him. So now what we need to do is find our next victim. And usually there's a lot of solo riders. Look at that. As soon as I say it, there's a guy right in front of me. Now this is one of the best places that I like to do the specific method with is out here in this area right now. So if you guys don't know where we're at on the map, let's go ahead and pull this up real quick. And we're in New Hanover and we're in the Heartlands. And really close to the Twin Stack Pass, which is usually, the, which, which is where I found the Rose Gray Bay, to be completely honest with you guys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and check out what kind of horse this guy has by using our binoculars real quick. 
We're going to stalk our prey. Let's do this. He's got a Morgan. I don't know if you guys saw that real quickly, but it was in the bottom right-hand corner of the screen. We're going to go ahead and pull out our lasso because we need to go ahead and get ready to do this as quickly as possible. So let's go ahead and do this. Give us something good, my friend. I hope that you give me... Uh, no, nobody wants to help you. But we're going to release you because we want you to give us an amazing horse and not a Morgan. Don't you dare come close to me. Yeah, I'm going to shoot you in the foot. You you got... That was that was a snake bite, not a gun bullet. I'm just kind of throwing that out there. So it's red dot turns into a sliver. Now we can go ahead and kind of turn back to him. You're going to see he's jumping onto another horse. Now the nice thing I like about this specific area is it's very wide open. You don't have to worry about dotting trees. We're just going to shoot him. And... Really? You gave us another Morgan? Well, that's kind of garbage. But it is a chance that happens with this. But we need to get out of here because we don't want we don't want to draw the witnesses towards us. We, we don't want people to know that we are killing folks for their horses. But we do have the opportunity for a wagon rider right here. So I'm going to do that right now because I want to see if this is even a possibility. We're going to do this live. I've never done this except for we killed the last guy that did it. Here, pull you off the wagon. I'm sorry. No, no, but why, why does everybody call for help? Like, there's nobody anywhere near you. We're, nobody is coming to your rescue by any means. Um, okay, apparently people that ride wagons are very soft. They, they take one bullet. I, I'm, I am using the skull field, right? Okay, I did. All right, let's see if we can find one more person to do this to. Oh, God, look at that. There's one right here. I don't even know what type of horse he has, but we are going to go ahead and make sure that he's not a witness real quick and pull him off the horse because as soon as he becomes a witness you actually can't do this method with that him anymore so that would have been a waste so we're gonna go ahead and release him we're gonna pull out our school field real quick we got a witness okay oh i didn't want to shoot him in the stomach but i did uh we're gonna run away from the red blip and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna wait till he becomes a sliver turn around and see that he's getting on a horse and he definitely is and I don't know what type of horse that he uh, jumped onto, but it really doesn't matter. It's either a Kentucky Saddler, a Tennessee Walker, a Morgan, something like that. And this is a bigger horse. He definitely has a bigger horse, it looks like. A Belgium Giraffe. So definitely not... Well, he's just got drug away or dragged away with the horse. Nice, nice. Um, but you can definitely tell that he is um, a different horse than what the other one was. And we do have another solo rider right here on a wagon let's see if this guy is soft as well i'm curious to see if that actually has anything to do with this oh we got a donkey oh, no that's not a donkey is it come here oh geez oh he how how did he end up in the back of that wagon I, i'm afraid to get too close to what is he doing i'm gonna go ahead and shoot this horse though Start running. Oh, good. He didn't die this time. Nice. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to run away from him. I was so afraid of getting like caught by the law there that I didn't want to get too close to it. But now he's a red sliver. We can go ahead and turn around. And he should be getting onto another horse. No horse. Okay. So wagons do not work apparently with this method. But he is going to track us down. So we're just going to we're going to give him a little love tap in the head with our with a shot. Because, um, you know, that's just our way of saying hi in the Old West is shooting somebody in the head when they don't give us what, the, what we wanted. So anyway, let's see if we could find one more victim around here just to kind of show you that this does work pretty well. So we've gotten the uh, Missouri Foxtrotter, the Amber Champagne, and we have also got the Belgium Draft to spawn in just a few minutes, guys. That It really does not take long to do this method, and you can kind of find these solo riders pretty much wherever, and you can see that we have another one right here in front of us, and he has... What has he got? He's got a Morgan. So he's got Captain Morgan, and we are going to steal him off of his horse because we need to make sure that he spawns something different for us. We're going to... Come here, my friend. I need to borrow you for a second. Come here. Come. Are, are you going to give me a good horse? Because if you're not, well, you're going to die anyway. So I guess it really doesn't matter. So we're going to go ahead and shoot this guy in the legs. Any regrets? Hey, I'm supposed to shoot you. You're not supposed to shoot me. Be nice. Be nice now and give me a good horse. Okay. Dot to a sliver. 
And he should be getting on a horse now here in just a moment. It's hard to tell. Yes, there he is. He, and what do you got for us? You have a thoroughbred. So he gave us a thoroughbred, a dapple gray thoroughbred, which is a beautiful horse, by the way. Um, so you can have the thoroughbred if you want. You just got to take it to the stables and dock it. Now, if you happen to run across a gang horse or a specialty horse, and like by that, I mean, say like John's horse or some of the other horses that are not quite... Um, now, they are rare horses, but there are some horses that you can't actually bring to a stable, and you won't really know that unless you happen to know which horses are gang horses, and you won't know that until you actually bring it to a stable because it won't allow you to save the horse at the stable. So I'm hoping for maybe just one more victim. So Thoroughbred, Missouri Foxtrotter, and a Belden Draft, but see if we can get maybe just one more of a rare horse, but... I'm not really seeing any solo riders right now. I see a wagon off that way. I really don't want to go that way because Valentine is that way. But there is a solo rider right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you can see how, how often solo riders are happening in this, this area. Let's see. Can I see what kind of horse he's got from here? No, it's a little too far away. Let's get a little bit closer so he doesn't despawn. And he's got a, a Tennessee Walker. Okay, perfect. All right, we're going to go in and lasso him off. And this is going to be my last one. So no matter what type of horse he gives to us, this is going to be our last victim that we're going to do this to here real quick. So let's go ahead and do this. Look out. Come here. You're mine. You are mine, my friend. We're going to let you go. Pull out our revolver. I'm not going to use the volcanic because that would really kill him. Hey, dance. 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 Okay, now it's time to run. I just I wanted to make him dance a little bit, but it didn't really want to, to help me out. So as soon as the dot becomes a sliver, we can go to turn around, and you're going to see that he should be jumping onto another horse. There he is. I was like, where is he at? He's got... I can't tell what kind of horse he's got too far away, and I'm going to shoot him in the head, and he's got a Turkamon. So he's got the Dark Bay Turkamon. So we've gotten four different styles of horses doing this method in a very short amount of time. I definitely recommend that you guys give this a try on the story mode and get the horse that you guys have been looking for all this time. This glitch is still working as of January 24th and it could be patched as soon as another update happens for Red Dead Redemption 2. So if you guys are interested in getting the horse of your dreams, I definitely recommend that you do this as quickly as possible so you guys can get exactly the horse that you've been looking for this entire time. But that is all the time that I have for today's video. If you guys did enjoy it, or it was helpful in any way. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys, stay gaming.